Hello, future podcaster. I'm Christine Blasdale, and welcome back to the micro podcast on podcasting. And today we're going to do an overview on some of the things that you need to consider before creating your podcast, just some basic stuff. So stay tuned. Number one, pay close attention to the genre of your podcast. Is it going to be a comedy podcast? Is it going to be a true crime podcast? Is it going to be an interview style on the subject that you are an expert in? Is it going to be a health and wellness, spirituality, entertainment, enlightening, inspirational? Think long and hard on your specialty. In other words, where do you shine? Where does your personality pop and that your audience could connect with? Think about that one thing that you love to do, that you love to talk about more than anything. It could be wrestling. It could be vegan cooking. It could be giving people tips on how they can live a better life. Whatever that genre is, you want to stick with it. Don't go too far. Don't make it too vague. Stick with that genre as much as you can so that you can target your audience and they'll know exactly what they're getting when they listen to your podcast. Number two, make sure that you have branding already figured out. Don't start your podcast and then later go, oh, I think I know what kind of logo I want to do or what the cover art's going to look like or the naming of the podcast afterward. Of course, you want to do that before. With all of my personal coaching clients that I work with, one of the first things we do is work on the branding. That means the cover art, the design, the logo, and of course, the name of the podcast. Now, tip make sure that your name of your podcast really gives a potential listener or subscriber an idea of what it's about. If you're too vague, you're going to lose people and the people that you want to attract aren't going to know what you're talking about. If you say, I love ravioli and the show is not about ravioli at all, but it's about health and wellness, then I love ravioli doesn't make any sense. It might be cute to you, but to your potential listeners and subscribers, they're not going to get it. If it's something about health and wellness, make sure that's in the title. So it might be happy and healthy at 50 or how to eat better and live longer, whatever, whatever the genre is, whatever you're going to be focusing on, on, make sure that the title is reflective of that subject. Now, when working on your logo and your branding, your cover art, remember, you want to keep those dimensions, especially for Apple podcasts, you want to keep those dimensions really strictly to their requirements. Now, you can outsource for your design, for your graphics, your cover art, your branding. You can outsource that to a designer, let's say on Fiverr. You can create it yourself. And I love playing around with creating logos for my clients on Canva. Canva is my best friend. I use it every single day and you can create awesome cover art. As a matter of fact, there's actually a template in Canva that allows you to create cover art. The main thing is, is that the image is eye-catching, not too much text. If there's too much text, Apple Podcast doesn't like it and your potential audience won't like it either. And make sure you keep to those specs for Apple Podcasts. Number three, just as important as your branding, your logo, and your name, you want to come in with your podcast with some type of theme music. Now, with my clients that I work with, I do like to pick the theme music out before they do any recording, before we work on any type of production, because that theme music has a flavor. It has an essence, and that is going to bring your audience in. If you're doing a true crime or a scary horror podcast, you're not going to have something really poppy and light. You're probably going to have something a little creepy. So, that's what you want to think about when you're picking your theme music. And I have two favorites that I use. I go to either Shutterstock Music or Epidemic Sound. I love them both. They're both professional and you can get high quality music for your podcast that is done in such a way that you can legally use it. You want to make sure that the music you do use is something that is legally okay for you to use. The fourth thing that I'm going to talk about is that before you get started on all of this stuff, you want to consider having a coach or mentor. It's really, really important that you have somebody that guides you along the way. Why? Because if not, you're going to spend a lot of time, money, frustration, energy going about creating a podcast. And then later you're going to find out you threw all that money out there and you're nowhere. 
Why is it so important to work with a podcast coach? Well, because they've gone through it. They know the easiest way to do it. They know all the pitfalls and they know how to keep you motivated and inspired to create the best podcast you possibly can. Some of you might be saying, well, well, Christine, where do I find a podcast coach? Well, hello, I happen to be one. I have clients that are in Los Angeles, New York, Australia, all around the globe. And we have a blast putting together a podcast show. I get to save them time, frustration, energy, money, all that good stuff. And they get to have a professional podcast in just a few short weeks. It's a great way to get started and a wonderful way to get that feedback on how you're doing. Okay, so you excited? You ready to start? Wonderful. If you'd like to learn more about my podcast coaching programs, click the link that's included in the show notes of this program. I'd love to offer you a complimentary strategy session where you and I can sit down and talk about the show that you want to create and the easiest way for you to get there. I've helped hundreds of people create their podcast and YouTube channels, and I'd be honored to help you as well. Well, that's all we have time for in the micro podcast on podcasting. Make sure you share this with family and friends, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. Again, I'll share my personal link in the show notes so you can reach out to me anytime. Until next time, happy podcasting. Thank you.